Hey, what's up guys? Brandon here with Cloud Vision Pro. And today I wanted to do a quick, um, just a quick overview of what I did on that uh, meteor into the atmosphere. Um, we're going to do this as fast as possible. What I went ahead and did is grabbed an um, image background off Google Images. I just typed in atmosphere uh, HD. Alright, um, let's go ahead and drag and drop that uh, effect here. As you can see, we have a pretty standard little object coming burning through the atmosphere. Um, it is approximately about six seconds long. Okay, let's go ahead and rotate this real fast. Excuse me, we're not going to rotate the object, we're actually just going to reverse the image. Let's go ahead and reverse it. Make it look like it's coming down from the other side. I'm going to go ahead and rotate the object at a good 35, 40 degree angle. Okay. And let's go ahead and add some effects to this. Let's make it look more part of the scene. I'm go to curves. Maybe darken it a little bit. Let's bump the red. Let's bump the red just a little bit down. Let's go over to green. Just want to play with it. And bump up the blue. Oh, that already looks pretty cool. Notice has how the um, the ball kind of matches the the scene a little bit better than it did before having the adjustment color. Let's go ahead and add a glow to this. Change the threshold a little bit high. There we go. About 91. We'll cut the intensity back just about a few. Let's change the radius. About right there. Selling the visual effects is always half the battle. So. Um, what I went ahead and did with the background as well is I add a little bit of a twirl adjustment to some of the clouds to give it a little bit more a realistic look as you can see these guys right here are twirling just a little bit um, with a slight animation um, you can use this visual effects to any project you like um, this was just a quick rundown of what I did. Um, it was rendered in 3ds Max at 1280 by 720p. Again, the background is from Google Images. Just type in uh, under the Images Atmosphere HD. And then uh, what I did for the final outlook is I, uh, this is one I already pre-made. added a camera shake to it to give it a little bit more realism. You could also add like optical flares and things like that. But um, this is just a quick overview of how to use this visual effects. Um, like I said, it's only visual effects is half the battle, but if you just give it a little bit of TLC, tender love and care, it can come out pretty dang good. Um, if this is your first time coming across my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button where I frequently upload animations, visual effects, and free stock footage. My name is Brandon, and I'm with Cloud Vision Pro, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.